how to set up shipping on shopify full tutorial hey guys welcome back in this video i'll show you guys how you can set up shipping on your shopify store so let's get into it now the first and most important thing is to activate your shopify store you need to pick a plan to be able to actually get your checkout to start working once you have like a basic website this is just a sample website so i can show you guys this is our basic website now currently in my website if i go on to buy now over here i will see the checkout page however in this checkout page i haven't actually set up my shipping the shipping is just very very general or very generic so to actually be able to set up shipping you need to log on to your shopify store once you log on to your shopify store dashboard you're going to click on settings on the bottom left then once you do that you're going to click on shipping and delivery from here, you're actually going to start setting up your shipping and delivery. So the first thing you're going to do is in your general profile, you will have some basic rates that you might have added as a sample. You can remove those for now just simply to make it easier for me to explain it to you guys. I'll show you guys how you can set these up for yourself. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into shipping and delivery. You're going to have no shipping rates for customers to choose from. Then you have expected delivery dates order routing, local delivery, local pickup. I don't offer local pickup, so I'm not going to add that. Then deliver orders directly to customers in the area. Now, this is only for stores that are looking to not use couriers when they're delivering something. However, for most e-commerce store, unless you're in the food industry, you're not going to be offering local delivery either. Then you will have your actual custom shipping rates and general shipping rates. Now, to build your shipping rates, you actually need to choose your regions, how you're going to be choosing your regions well. For that, you can go into your locations, and then in your locations, you can click on add locations, and you can add any location that you have where you're storing your inventory. Dependent on that, you can base off your shipping rates as well, and then you also have taxes and duties that need to be added. So we're going to go back into shipping and delivery. You're going to click on the no shipping rates. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and you have shipping origins. Now, you have no shipping zones. So, we're going to start creating our zones. We're going to click on create zone over here and you have multiple different countries. So, let's say in our country, I'm going to make this local or domestic delivery. So, within your country, you're always going to name it domestic delivery or, you know, the name of the country and then delivery. And then you're going to click on done. Now, this is only one particular country. I've added this as a zone. Once I've added a country or a certain countries as a zone, I'm going to go up and I can actually add a rate for this. So you're going to click on add rate. I'm going to, you can use a carrier to calculate your rates or set up your own rates. For example, I am going to create a flat rate of, well, let's say it's going to be $5. And this might be the particular flat rate for that country. You can add conditional pricing as well. So let's say based on order price or based on weight item. If you're selling furniture or super large and heavy items, obviously for certain items, you have to charge more. So if it's going to be based on weight, let's say $5 shipping is going to be the maximum shipping I'm charging for products that weigh under 20 kilos. If a product weighs more than 20 kilos, I might want to charge more. So I'm going to click on done over here. Then I would click on add rate and you can name, you know, the rate, whatever you want. But what I'm going to do is that let's say for items that are over 20 kilos, I'm going to have the rate of $15 based on item weight. And the weight is going to be more the minimum weight. If the minimum weight increases by 20 kilos, then it is going to be charged as $15. So anything that is more than 20 kilos is going to be 15. Anything that is under is going to be five. Now, this is only for domestic delivery or delivery within your country or your zone. To create international shipping or to ship to other countries, you're going to have varying prices. You might have to pay taxes and duties as well. So to set that up, you're going to click on create zone. Once you click on create zone, you can choose a particular zone. So let's say Canada and the United States. Let's say it's shipped to both of those at the same rate because they are located together. So maybe Canada, United States, and let's say I also want to include Mexico. So it includes Mexico over here as well. Now 
I'm going to click on the title and I'm going to make this US and Canada. And then I'm going to click on done over here. And then I'm going to add my own rates. Now you can use a carrier app to calculate your rates if that is available to you. Or you can set up your own rate. So let's say this is going to be our US flat rate. And let's say it's going to be $50. And let's say this is non-conditional, so whatever you order, if it's a tiny item, it's going to be charged with $50. So I'm going to click on done over here. And just like that, we've added our flat rate. Now for another region, if I want to add more shipping rates, I can click on add rate over here. And then I can add maybe my worldwide flat rate. And then this might be for all of my countries, all of the regions. So I can click on create zone. And I can select, you know, all of the countries internationally and have one flat rate. Obviously, I don't recommend that simply because you're going to be paying variable duties on your items. But once you've added these, you can click on save on the top right. Now, below that, you're going to have a section called start shipping to more countries. And it will show you all the countries that are not included in your shipping zones. So if you want to expand your business, you can include these countries in your shipping zones as well. Now, once you've added all of your basic sections you can see customers in two countries slash regions won't be able to check out because they are in a inactive market then they also have go to market section where you can you know create an active market you're going to click on the market section in your shopify settings and you will see your actual markets and then you have your recommendations so you can click on add market and then you're going to add canada and then United States. I'm going to add these and this is going to be like this. I can click on add market over here in my market section and then I will close this app recommendation but I've added this basic market. Now with each individual nation country you might want to add your own pricing. You might want to add import duties and more. So you guys can see I've already sh set up shipping rates, but shipping rates are only the rates you're, you know, shipping the item at. There might be some other duties you might have to pay. So you can choose to include those in shipping. However, you can also go into duties and import taxes and then click on turn on. And once you turn this on, you can, you know, remove the include tax and prices and charge tax on shipping rates and charge VAT. On digital goods now I can click on save over here this is going to vary your product prices region to region but this is going to be in accordance to the actual region people are purchasing from so now if I go into buy it now on my Anand tote and I'm just going to save all of my checkout settings so I can go into my actual region so if I go into my shipping and delivery you guys can see we have two zones we have different shipping rates and once I've completed this, I can wait for the settings to be implemented. So once these settings have been implemented, you can actually go into your items and click on buy it now. And then you will be able to see the variable shipping depending on your location. So in this way, you can get started with setting up shipping on your Shopify store. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.